accustomed to the new servers. Um, it is interesting. It does feel different than the North American servers. At least the West Coast North American servers that I'm accustomed to. Um, depending on the time of day I'm playing, it either feels like everyone is like super hardcore or super casual and like there is not much in between. Um, but unlike most of my Fortnite content, um, I did not edit very much out of this. Um, I tried to keep it, um, you know, as full gameplay as possible because I, I do feel like sometimes when I post these Fortnite clips I have a tendency to to edit out the the in between bits, you know, the in between combat, things like that. Um so I wanted to leave most of that stuff into the game for you guys. You can kinda see you know more of what I'm doing when I'm not um you know, engaging with people, right? Um, and also most of the time I only post my wins. But I actually do not win this match. I come in second, as you can see based on the title of this video. Um, although this, you know, I performed so well this game, I kind of felt like even though I did come in second place, it was still kind of, like, deserving of me posting the video. Um, I felt like it was still, you know, a, one, a good one to show you guys. You know, we're basically just starting out here. We're already up to three eliminations. The person was just standing there doing their, um, what's it called? Their talent, their talent, their whatever the abilities are, the augment, that's what it is. And that gives me my fourth elimination. Um, so yeah, just uh, like I said, showing you guys more of this in between stuff, like me getting my shields up, me scavenging around for loot and stuff like that. And uh, this, this was before the end of the most wanted event. Um, so the vaults and the NPCs and stuff like that are still around the map. And my objective with this, uh, gameplay was actually to get into a vault because I had to complete some, uh, most wanted quests. Um, this was one of those gameplays where, you know, sometimes I just come in and play Fortnite, um, seeking to complete some quests, get some experience, unlock, you know, some of the lock unlockables, I'm not always, you know, coming in with the intention to push and get W's, um, we got this, I third party this fight here, some terrible aiming with the DMR right there, but the elimination right there, and I'm trying to see the person they were fighting, here we go, we got a Harley Quinn, I don't know what it is, but I feel like any time I fight a Harley Quinn, it's like I don't think I've ever lost a fight to a Harley Quinn skin. Maybe, I don't know. That's just kind of like a, a vibe I always get. Like, the people who wear Harley Quinn skins, like, I just feel like I always dunk on them. But up to six eliminations now for this match, and I'm pushing up here to try to get into the vault which is at the bottom of this zip line, of course. Um, and there's like the main NPC who has the vault key. So I'm attacking him right off the jump. Um, heavy shotgun. Yeah, is that the heavy or the auto? I think that's actually the auto, not the heavy. Um, my shotgun aim was terrible this whole match. You'll see, like, I'm, I'm having a hard time hitting him with the shotgun right now. And that does actually come back to bite me at the end, and is part of the reason that, um, I don't get the win in this match. Like, I don't know, for some reason I just had terrible, terrible shotgun aim this whole match. But there.
there's that, uh, I don't remember exactly what they call it, but their mythic version of the heavy shotgun there. So I replaced my green auto with that, because, I mean, I prefer the heavy shotgun in general, and then you give me the, you know, the special version of it. You know, I'm going to be all about that. Um, and I do have the key card to unlock the vaults I trumped down. I didn't realize that the other NPCs didn't, um, like, despawn when the leader was eliminated. I thought it was one of those things where it's like, you take out the boss NPC and then the other ones, like, disappear. Um, because I think there are some like that, and then there's some like this where all the NPCs stay. Basically, again, missing shots with the shotgun. That's four misses, five misses. I don't know why my shotgun aim was so off this day that I played this, but... Finally knock him, get that elimination. Then we got the, uh, the med mist there, picked that up. Um, I always preferred the med mist to other healing items, but we're into the vault now. Opening the cash register, getting that gold, just the ammo box, this regular chest here. Then we have this, like, lockbox pelican case thing, an epic chest, of course. And there is the explosive, um, red dot rifle, which honestly is, like, so crazy powerful, and I'm just now realizing that, like, while I have that rifle, it, like, improves my shields over time. I didn't realize that while I was playing. I'm actually just now realizing that watching back this video, because I had 48 shields, I picked up that rifle, bounced up to 100. So I actually kind of wasted an inventory slot picking up these jug splashes here. I didn't realize that that was a thing, but there was my first cut of this video. There's only two cuts, just because I hung out in that vault for a really long time. Because I heard footsteps outside, I thought there was a player that was going to come into the vault. And I was planning on, like, ambushing them once they came in, but... Uh, ultimately, there there was no player that that came in. It was just me. So, um, I see this guy up here on this ledge. He's sniping at people. So I'm trying to hit him with my explosive red dot. And I'm in the bush here. Yeah, there he is. It is hard at this distance to get hits on him, and I'm not sure if he really knows where I am yet. Or now he definitely knows, because he's firing into this bush. I don't think he has a sniper. I think he has maybe like a DMR or, you know, a, a rifle similar to what I have. But he cracks me pretty good right there. I'm down at 28. So I uh, have to go up with the med mist. And then, yeah, see, I'm holding this rifle, and my shields are just going up, 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 which I'm, yeah, I'm just now realizing that that's what was happening. Um, it's not that it matters now. The event is over, but I did not realize that at the time. Uh, but I'm hearing footsteps right now, and you can see on the mini-map there is actually somebody, I think, probably just down this little ridge right here. I'm hearing footsteps. I'm kind of just chilling in this bush, waiting for them to come closer to me, but I'm not seeing them anywhere, so I just come up here, because um, I heard some gunshots out this direction. As you can see, there's this guy right here underneath me. Boom, one shot with the heavy. Missed that one, but I get that one. Two shots with the heavy puts them down. And I'm on to my seventh elimination for the match now. That person fighting somebody. I get the headshot like over the hill for my eighth. And then that person is my ninth elimination. And like this explosive.
explosive red dot rifle is just an absolute beast. It's t such a strong gun and like the explosions and everything are just super OP it feels like. Um, but yeah, it's funny because like I landed here in shattered slabs and like I'm still here like, I don't know, more than halfway through the round later. That Goku up on the tree there, I get to him with a lucky shot and that's my 10th elimination, but I, I did see that somebody was fighting him. So I try to get some shots at them, but I miss. But there's people all around me right now, like I hear gunshots and footsteps in all directions. So I'm like, alright, let's get out of here before I get like pinned down in this bush. And also we have the storm to worry about. So I'm trying to come up here to higher ground. Uh, there's six people left. Uh, including me. But at the moment I'm just concerned with, you know, getting to a good position uh, for the next circle. You know, uh, while everybody else is back there fighting in shattered slabs, I'm kind of thinking, get, get myself into a, um, you know, get myself into a better position, get myself into a favorable you know, get some high ground, get some whatever. Um, especially with this jumping, the soaring sprints augment. But this, this is probably gonna be my last video for this, uh, this season of Fortnite, this chapter. The new chapter, I think, is coming out next week, or like in two weeks or something. Um, so, you know, I'm gonna go over that battle pass, talk about that. But, um... Yeah, I'd say this is probably my last Fortnite video until next season. Um, there's actually someone right there. They run up on me, behind me. I thought they were going to get me down, but they didn't even crack all my shields. But yeah, they, they came up behind me. You saw it there on the, on the mini-map. Um, but yes, yeah, I had those jug splashes, but just a total waste because I don't realize the, the, the rifle I have in my inventory. Or maybe it's the shotgun, I'm not sure, but that's regenerating my shields over time. But now I'm on this tree here. I see this person out here on the motorcycle, the dirt bike. I get a couple shots on him, you know, two, three shots land on him. But he's running in on me. I see him dismount right there, so I'm like, alright, well, got to get the hammer up. Tries to shoot there, but I blast him back and he goes into the storm. And I'm ready with my heavy, he comes in, but I get the shot with the heavy, so I know they're low. And then the explosive, one shot from the explosive, just finishes them off. And there we go, back to full shields there. But, I mean, that was a clutch play, in my opinion, that fight, because, you know, I hammered him as he came around. The heavy shotgun as he came in on me, I think that's one of my more impressive kills from this video, but up to 12 eliminations now and I'm coming up on this rooftop because like it's right on that edge between in circle and out of circle and I have a decent vantage point there's the second cut of the video just because I was up here for probably two three minutes just looking around but I see that person down there at the rock trying to get some quick shots in on them um, I'm still just looking trying to see if I can get a beat on them at all, but it doesn't really appear that I'm going to be able to. So I'm like, alright, well let's hammer out this way. We're going to hammer into the circle. So you know, I'm not stuck out here in the storm. I'm kind of just looking, seeing who's around. There's that person up there. I didn't see them on approach, but they're firing into the bush and I'm able to kind of just sidestep all their shots. Um trying to see if I can see them here. I'm looking around, but I'm not really able to get a good uh, line of sight on them. So I come up here and I move to this tree, but then now they run out. So I start just firing on them with the explosive and I get them down. So now it's just me and one guy, the, the second to last guy, and then 
unfortunately it's the guy who I was shooting at earlier from behind the rock. And watching this back, I feel like if I would have pushed him, when I had cracked him with those two shots, I probably could have gotten the kill on him. But, um, regardless, this is where my bad shotgun aim comes back to bite me, because I swamped to the heavy. I missed there, and there, and there. I literally could have killed him right there with those shots. Um, but like I said, my shotgun aim was just really poor. I come back with the shotgun. Another miss, finally a hit, but he comes in with a legendary. I hammer him out into the storm, but unfortunately it's not enough, and I get eliminated. So, that's that. I came in second place, but still felt worthy of posting this video up, because I feel like I had a really good game with those 13 eliminations. If you guys like the video, please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Just like this, almost every single day. Till next time, guys. Bye bye.